This is the Recon Slurry Bag. And the date is October the 3rd, 2014. This is the same bag as we've used before. It's got four chambers. It's 17 feet wide by 22 feet long. It has four cha chambers, three baffle skirts, and four bung fittings for filling and uh, discharging the water. And we're, we've hooked this test up to a splitter. Uh, the splitter could have two lines, which we have, or it could have 12 lines. It uh, goes into a uh, splitter with on and off uh, switches. And that would be off. Here is off, this is on. And here, these two fittings, the inside tube goes down, makes a U-turn, comes back to here. Both ends are sealed off. This side does the same thing. It goes down, makes a U-turn, comes back to here. That's just the way we did this dam. Any uh, configuration can be done. It doesn't have to necessarily uh, be this one. Here we go. We got water right to here. They're both on. And uh, here we are unrolling the aqua dam. If we didn't stand behind it, of course, it would be unrolled already. <laughs> so let's speed her up, Seth. Let's Don't pull on it. Just let the water do all the work. So this is what, how it looks like with uh, these two tubes are filling. And is making the aqua dam unroll. The pump is only on idle, or just above idle. Walk it. Seth, wa go ahead and take Seth's place. And uh, Seth, you walk across there. Walk across it? Yeah, so we can show what's going on. See, there's the water in one tube. There's the other tube. Keep going across. And then the outside tube is flat. This outside tube is also flat. No water can get there yet. And the aqua dam is unrolling nicely. Now, that's just with... A three inch pump rated at 15,000 gallons an hour. We've been pumping approximately two minutes and you can see how fast it's going. Don't let it just unroll because it's down here now. It's a slight slope downhill, but even if it was uphill, this aqua dam would unroll. 
And now his foot is keeping it from unrolling, which is correct. Now we can turn this at this point, this whole, uh, um, even if it was a thousand feet long on a beam here, we could turn it and adjust directions, which we're not going to show you on this one. If he moves his foot back, it unrolls. Turn those pumps up. This is just one pump, and we could have... Um, uh, each tube on, on a pump if it was going to be a thousand feet long so the whole thing uh, happens uh, really really quick now we've turned up these three inch pumps the one three inch pump because of the splitter it's filling two chambers And this is the last roll on the beam. There. Now we've got water instantly coming around and coming through here. It went around the corner and it's now going around. Show us how that's coming around, Seth. Water flows right through this. Right around here. You can see that building. You already have two and a half inches. There's already two and a half inches of water coming around here and now the middle one stopped filling it's just transferring water from the start down it to the end u-turn water's coming back this side now you have to start from the inside of uh, a multiple tube system like this and work out if you started from the outside and laid it out of course those tubes have to be uh, moved into each other uh, and it can't do that with a bunch of water in it so you have to start with the water from the inside and then work your way out this could be uh, 20 tubes wide a thousand feet long and you would start with the uh, number uh, 10 in, or 11 tube and um, in the middle and work your way out until you have 20 tubes filled with water. Now, if they're single tubes, there would not be, there would not make a U-turn here on the end. And thus, uh, each tube would have to have a, a water supply coming from a pump. So we've got water all the way around to here and on this one all the way back around to here and it's filling quite nicely. We have one pump discharging water. One side was uh, pumping faster than the other side, and so we had to turn the valve on uh, this side of uh, uh, the aquadam down. But both of them are filling nicely. We've been pumping for seven minutes. We're gonna try and get this whole thing on one card. So I'm not gonna shut the camera off. 
I believe this whole thing will have filled up in approximately 10 to 12 minutes. In nine minutes. And I have to shut it off because the uh, light's blinking and I'll come back on when it's full. Okay, we're, uh, this t tube here is higher than, the, uh, than its counter on the other side right here. We're going to shut the pumps down. Shut her off. And now what's going to happen here on these tubes, they're all going to bleed to each other until they're all equal. You can see water just doesn't come out. And we're going to replace that, that uh, elbow, which we needed for filling the water. Now we're going to ca cap these. So far this has taken approximately 12 minutes with one 3 inch pump not running full blast. And we use this splitter and there could have been a dozen hoses run off one splitter. And there's all kinds of ways to make a splitter. Each one could have an on and off valve or not. Well, here we are. We're done with the uh, um, installation. Now, if we were going to put slurry in this, what we would do is once we got it full of water, the slurry could go in at now, or it could go in now. If you put water slurry in this side, that'll force all the water out this side until the slurry gets around to this side. But uh, we don't know how that would work. We'd have to do it once or twice to see. But certainly, uh, putting the water in it, everything equalizes. There we go, end of story. Well, I'll just film this from the side here. Come on over here, Seth. Yeah, walk across there and... Go across them. One, two, three, four tubes. Those tubes could be any size. They've actually got a baffle skirt in, in them uh, six inches high. And of course that baffle skirt could be any height. I'm gonna back down the hill and look at this aquadam, Seth. This aqua dam doesn't have a baffle in it, but you can see the uh, 
what hillside here go there you go that's where the two tubes come together at right there and uh, one tube can't roll over the other tube it's sitting on a tremendous hillside and uh, that's why aqua dams work so darn good because they can sit on a hillside uh, climb over it and go back and forth so they can see the difference in height not on it just back and forth across it from one side to the other side right in the middle of it yeah there you go yeah step from one side to the other side okay now step across all the way across that is a tremendous hillside for water to be sitting on and um, we thought we would show you that That's a lot of hillside now. Try and pull it over. See if you can pull it. Pretty stable. <laughs> Pretty stable, trying to pull it down the hill and you still can't pull the water down the hill. <laughs> That's how good an aqua dam works, and this is a non baffle aqua dam. The baffle even works better. That concludes our demonstration for today.